All right, guys. Um, pretty sure I'm running Hypercam. Yeah, this is my first time using Hypercam. Actually, it's my second because the first time it messed up a little bit. Uh, see how it goes. I'm gonna try this out. Uh, all right. The video I'm gonna be showing you guys today is how to use Frostwire. And I don't have a microphone plugged in, so my voice probably sounds a little weird. How to use Frostwire, which is right here, without getting viruses. How to properly use it and why it's better than LimeWire. And don't ask me why it's name 1337. I'll explain that another day. I'm going to uh, download that and open it up. To download it, just go to google.com. Type in Frostwire. Click the first one. .com official website. And click download now. Frostwire version 4.21. Whatever version is out then. Okay, once you got it loaded up. See the turbo charge connection goes really quick. You don't have to buy a Frostwire Pro or none of that bullshit on LimeWire. And LimeWire, since it was sued or whatever happened, I don't know what the fuck is going on with LimeWire, but it's not cool. Alright, alright. Feel me? You feel me? I'm shook. But anyway, I don't know what the fuck is going on with LimeWire, but Frostwire ain't got no problems with it like LimeWire does. And uh, some people at my school, they tell me, yeah, Frostwire is bad, Frostwire gives you viruses, Frostwire does this, Frostwire does that, Frostwire is illegal. And I'm like, what the fuck, LimeWire gives you viruses, LimeWire is illegal, LimeWire is this, it's just a matter of how you use it. And I'm going to show you guys how to use this. You can do this for LimeWire too, but I'm just suggesting you go to Frostwire because it's just so much better. Uh, it's almost the same as LimeWire, but it's not in turmoil right now. It's a peer-to-peer -peer sharing thing, just like LimeWire. And I'm going to show you how to use it. Properly, without getting viruses. I don't know about if it's still legal, but who gives a fuck if it's legal or not? You're just going to do what you do to get some free music, right? Right. Uh, if I ever become famous and make some music, you guys uh, better buy my CDs instead of downloading them from Frostwire. Right. Alright, you see how all my things in my LimeWire are red? I mean my line, my Frostwire library are red because I'm not sharing them. I right click them and it says share file. When you first download them, they're going to be black. And you right click them and click unshare file. So that no one can download your songs off of you. Like, so you're not hosting the whole thing. That helps because it's less legal. And I mean it's less illegal. And it helps so that no one's downloading crap off of you, makes your computer go slower, or give you a virus, or something like that. And plus, you know, we just like to be stingy, you know? Once you got your songs, we can give a fuck to whoever else gets them, right? Right. It's <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna show you what I recommend you use this for music only, not video images or nothing like that, because there's a highly more chance that you get viruses from video images. Audio, you still can get viruses, but it's about easier to spot them. Alright, let's use the song. Loading up my gun by Little Quete for just a reference. Uh, all right, you search it, and since it's not as popular, it takes a while to come up. But uh, once you get that going, searching. And if they pop up, okay, something's not right. I fucked up something. Alright, I'm gonna type in I'm loading up my gun. That's how it is. Maybe because I have Hypercam running. I'm gonna uh, pause Hypercam real quick and come back to you when the search thing comes. Yeah, it was Hypercam. Uh, hold on, let me just search it for some more. I hope the sound didn't mess up. Anyways, you see how it says I'm loading up my gun just like that. It doesn't have the artist or anything. And the bitrate, if it doesn't have a bitrate, don't even download it. That's a fucking virus. You're gonna get all messed up. Uh, don't even download it. I think the sound probably got fucked up when I paused it, but that's alright. I'm gonna do the video anyway. See, this is the one that's in my library. Chicano rap, little quite loading up my gun. See, if it has all the information right there, title, I'm loading up my gun, artist, the album. Dude, that's pretty fucking legit, and if it has a bit rate, the size is usually around 3,000 to 6,000 in a song. Bit rate is uh, somewhere between 100 to 300. That's pretty fucking legit. But when you go to one that says, I'm loading up my gun, just like how you typed in, with no lowercase capital, they mix it up, and the title is, I'm loading up my gun. And you look at the album, and it says, congratulations, Apple selects you to receive a free Apple iPhone or iPad. Visit www. Uh, uh, that's a bunch of... That's, that's a bunch of bullshit, alright? I mean, 
It's basically saying, congratulations, Apple has selected you to receive a free virus, free of charge. Just click right here. Alright? So, yeah, all those that say congratulations or whatever else bullshit they say, that, that is fucking ridiculous. And look, Apple selects you to free. That is, oh my god, that is just obvious. And this one right here doesn't even have a bit rate. You can tell that one's a virus, even though it has this quality thing. But, I mean, this one's pretty legit. This one's legit. This one's legit. Um, all these refs are fucking bullshit. So, once you know how to tell a virus, oh, also if it says anything like high quality, I, I'm loading up my gun, high quality, or new album, or best something, anything after it, I mean, come on, no one's gonna put. I'm loading up my gun, high quality, and all that shit after their song. That's a fucking virus just leaping out at you, alright? Stop the search. Um, I'm pretty sure my sound got messed up, but that's alright. Now, what you want to do once you're in your library, like, see this one? Is. It would be this color, black. But once you unshare them, they're all red. And I thought that was why I just had to highlight so you Right click them, stop share, do not share any of them. You're right? Like I said, we're stingy. And do not play them in the uh, Frostwire library. That's just gonna install the virus if you accidentally somehow installed a virus. If you weren't careful, you missed something. Don't play them in the library. It should be extra safe. And you really need an antivirus program. That will help like a lot. Go to documents. Go to the uh, folder that you have for songs in Frostwire. Save. You have them on the save. You could just scan the Frostwire. But I'll just scan this one. Scan it with your antivirus. That's where your antivirus comes in handy. And 100% complete. My feet are not detecting any issues. Uh, blah, blah, yada, yada. See, and then report pops up on my thing. So, nothing's wrong with that folder. No viruses, no nothing. These are all legit songs from Frostwire. So, that's how you don't get a virus with Frostwire. I'm tired of people saying Frostwire is this, Frostwire is that. It's fucking the same as RMR. It's just it's a matter of if you know how to use it or not. Uh, I don't know if that video helped any of y'all at all, but, um, if it did, I'm glad I had to help you, I'm glad I had to help you, got to help you, my bad. but if it didn't, go fuck yourself too, no, I'm just playing, if it did, good, if it didn't, well, I'm sorry I couldn't help you, but that's the end of my video, that's my first video with Hypercam, I'm pretty sure it's not all that great, but at least I got something out there, for you Frostwire, Limewire users. Alright, you know,